guys, they, they tell us what? This is the game we look forward to. And these games always seem to come right down to the wire. Well, because, Jim, it comes down to this. They're both good teams. They both have wonderful defenses. So it's hard to separate when the Ravens and Steelers get together. And they seem to always have every game with the division at stake. Well, they've, they've been so good for so long. I think that it uh, talks about they've had good quarterbacks for the last 15 years, and the organizations are well run. And that, that makes it close. And when we meet with the teams, and they always talk about one thing this game and how much it means to them they know this is their biggest rival when they get the schedule every april the first thing they do is circle the ravens and steelers what two dates are there on, on the schedule when they have those two dates they know they're going to be excited to play football that week it's first down as they head to the line Play clock's running down. The give. Taking off. Spinning out of trouble. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Well, you had strong, positive comments to say about Flacco all season long. And I think his performance in the AFC Championship game silenced some of those critics out there about Flacco. If this offense is just going to progress a little bit, give Joe Flacco a little more help, I think everybody now realizes that he has a big-time NFL arm, and it's good enough to take you and win the Super Bowl. First down, offense readying for the snap. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. And it's Ryan Clark who comes up to make the stop. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing the See all these wonderful things, but when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. They come to the line, and it's first down. Go. Staying on the ground. Left side. And it's Ryan Clark who was able to tackle. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive, they're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. That leads us to second down. He gets it again on this drive. They bring him down at the 29 yard line. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Offense lines up here. First and ten, staying on the ground. Now makes the move to the right. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, Listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. It takes today size at the quarterback position, it seems, in almost every case. There are exceptions, but you got two of the biggest guys to play the position here today, Ben and Joe. Yeah, you do, and, and, and there's so many things. Yes, it's become a big man's game. When you look at most of the quarterbacks around the NFL, there are different ways to do it. We see it succeed other ways. But Ben Roethlisberger, I, I, I won't ever forget this. When he came out of Miami and Ohio, the first line I ever wrote about him as a quarterback was, he's big. He'll play big in the NFL. And, of course, for once, I was right. <laughs> the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third down and eight. Play action fake. Looking to throw. 
reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position, nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. When you look at the Ravens a year ago, and Phil, we were there to see it happen. They were so close to advancing to the Super Bowl. The Ravens are just a good old-fashioned football team. They want to play defense. They want to be physical on offense and run it. And when they throw it with Joe Flacco, they like to get it down the field. It worked very well for them last year. They were, who could get closer to going to the Super Bowl than the Baltimore Ravens? Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. The Steelers getting set now for their next series. Now first and ten. They'll go ground. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Coming up, second down. They beat him the ball again. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. I wonder where this rivalry's going after the Ravens swept the series in 2011, including that huge win at Heinz Field where they came back and won in the fourth quarter on the road. You know, it's, it's not quite the same, but in college, sometimes it doesn't matter which games you lose as long as you win the two that count. And I think that's kind of how these two teams feel. So that we know, just, just saying that, that they want to win these games so much, it's going to make it exciting. From the gun. Working that left side. Right where it had to be. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. First and ten. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap and they hold that run to a short game. down here the quarterback drops back play action that pass play picks up the first down well if you want to be a good play action pass team it's always nice to have a good running game make the defense dig in and try to stop your run when they do that you fool them you fake it you throw it down the field that that's that's about as easy as it gets first down and ten for an open receiver on the right. The defense did not give up an inch. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Play number six coming up on this drive. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Swatted away. Holding.
the defense Repeat. will take the penalty. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. Play number six coming up on this drive. From the shotgun. Suggs has the